Hey there, we're Nigel and Sue and these are our adventures. And in this episode we visit some beautiful beaches around Cairns. Now when you think of the Cairns area, you probably think of beautiful tropical beaches. <laughs> but Cairns itself, the mm. beach looks like this. It's not a beach, it's a mud flat. I wouldn't want to go swimming in that. No, it'd be a bit icky, but that, that's why they've installed this awesome playground over there. It's like a salt. Um, yeah, salt it's a pool. saltwater Beautiful. lagoon. Yeah, yeah it's a fun. It's really popular. Let's Come go check here. it out. So this saltwater lagoon and fish sculpture was created by early 2000s. There's an artificial beach there, obviously a great place for families to bring their young kids. And it's safe from stingers, which at the moment it's still stinger season, and crocodiles. Anyway, I think we've seen enough of the uh, mud flats. Let's uh, jump back in the van and go check out the real beach, huh? fishing because because we don't have any anything other than mud hoppers to eat here. <laughs> I don't know, there's someone out with their crab pots. Oh yeah. Mud crab. <laughs> oh it's um it's for bait. And what is it? A cod. And you've got two crabs in there, right? Yeah. Done well. I can't see the other one. Oh that's a big one. Is that mud, is that mud crabs? Yeah. Awesome they've certainly got mud all over them, haven't they? Mm. Yeah, I've got to clean them up once I get back to my um, little fishing setup. Good on you. Yeah, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, that's still yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So you can sit on these boats and eat prawns or oysters or seafood. The yeah, secret right. is on a Sunday. Yeah, why, why pay $40 for a dozen oysters when you can pay 10 or 12 is it? Dollar each. Dollar each. Happy days. Let's go to Yorkies. Rusty's Market is a farmer's market that was established in 1975, so it's been going for almost 50 years here in this spot. And it's a great place to come and get very well priced fresh fruit and vegetables. Thanks, what is it about the mountains behind the sugar cane? Good morning friends, it's bright and early, well, it's not actually bright, it's dark and early. We have gotten up before the sun this morning, we've come down to Palm Cove to check out the sunrise here. There is a lot of cloud on the horizon so I'm not sure what it's going to be like but we'll check it out anyway. So Nigel's just finishing cleaning his teeth, we've got the kettle on, we're going to have tea and coffee here on the beach and then take a walk down the Palm Cove jetty to look out over Double Island and yeah see the day begin at this beautiful tropical North Queensland beach. We 
we're out on the Palm Cove jetty. So behind us here is Double Island and just the little one there is called Hastings Island or Scout Hat because it resembles the Scout Hat. There's actually a beautiful reef in between those two islands. We have kite surfed here before. Gotcha! <laughs> Got it! Um, we might even come back here for a kite today. See about the wind direction and what have you. It's such a beautiful spot here. Um, and as I said, we're out on the jetty and if we turn around, look at that. Look at the size of this sun we gun. So we've, we've just noticed that um, much like the bridge in Paris, there's been a trend set here with um, padlocks being engraved and locked onto the uh, jetty here in, in Palm Cove. And it's kind of cool. And it looks like most of them are around that 2020 mark and beyond, so it's a pretty recent trend. I mean, it might be a famous, uh, like a popular fishing spot where Mick and Veen hang out. It's kind of cool. Shout out to Mick and Veen. Yeah. <laughs> gigantic paddle. It's huge, like it's, you, you kill someone with it. <laughs> Nigel's surveying the fishing information. He always wants to catch fish. Imagine if you caught a Spanish mackerel. This is the beautiful beach of Palm Cove and it's gone from being quite a sleepy village about 20 years ago to a tourist mecca now with a whole bunch of beautiful five-star resorts, restaurants, cafes, and everything aligning the Esplanade, which runs along the, well, maybe it's about a kilometer, a kilometer and a half of beachfront. And I think what makes this beach so special and a real competitor to the ever popular Port Douglas is the fact that you can stay right on the water here. And it's just a very short drive from Cairns, only about 30 minutes from the airport. Palm Cove is also the home to one of Cairns' few caravan parks and the only one that is absolute beachfront. So just a short walk across the road from the beach is the caravan park. Nigel and I stayed in there in 2017 when we first came up to Cairns. It's expensive but location's everything, right? This breakfast cannot possibly be eaten without being filmed first. So yesterday we went to Rusty's Market. Oh, poor Nigel, hold on. Go on, mate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dragon fruit. Oh, yeah. So as I was saying, yesterday we went to Rusty's Market and we picked up a whole bunch of fresh fruit and veg, including dragon fruit. So we've got dragon fruit. Yeah, it's so good. And right. passion fruit that we got from the market yesterday. A dollar by the way. Yeah. Well the dragon fruit wasn't. No, no, that wasn't. How five dollars each? Yeah, they're kind of exy. Oh they're exy. They are exy. That's why you gotta yeah. plant plant dragon fruit trees, people. <laughs> How beautiful is this beach? Very nice. <laughs> so we've just parked up right near the end of the road here. Such a beautiful day today. So one of the good things about Trinity is there's a couple of really nice walks that you can do. And we did one the other day because we were staying right near here. And it goes out to that point there. You might be able to see where there's some people sitting out on the rock. This goes up through that little bit of bush and it's a really nice outlook out across the ocean and up to Double Island and Scout Hat there. Beach also has a really interesting military history. 
So during the Second World War, troops were stationed near here and used this beach for a lot of their training exercises. And you can read all about that on this series of boards here. Right opposite the beach is this amazing Italian restaurant called Lunico. This is actually one of the best Italian meals I've had outside of Italy. This restaurant's been there for decades, not exactly sure how long. Um, but if you ever do come here, it's a really awesome place to go for a nice authentic Italian meal. And on the opposite corner from Lunico's is the new craft beer pub and microbrewery. So that's another good place. And further along is a really good seafood restaurant and an excellent Thai restaurant where I went for my birthday last year called Tuk Tuk. If you continue down this esplanade, you come to the stairs where you can walk up and have a great view out over the ocean there. that you notice here at the beaches is these enclosures. These nets are here to protect against deadly box jellyfish and crocodiles. Um, so this is the only relatively safe place to swim up here. Now the nets are normally here from November till May. They went up on the 1st of November and the day that they bring them in really depends. Maybe we can have a chat to the lifeguard and find out. So for those of you not in Australia, red and yellow flags means that a beach is patrolled and this is the safe place to swim. So we always say swim between the flags. So sure enough, the beach nets are coming out today. We've just come along to Palm Cove. Nigel's just actually been in and had a swim. I've been having a chat to the lifeguard and he said, if you want to have a swim, go in there now. Here's the timing. I know. They're coming in now. Eh? They're coming in now, yeah. Awesome. He said it would take about an hour and a half, but um. Oh, sweet. But yeah, so we've got, news, we've got news crew here and everything, but um, yeah, so. Yes, you can see the reel is going around, albeit quite slowly, and the net is starting to come in. So we've just been told that the guy that we're following is about to go and pull the plug so all of the air comes out of the floaty top bit of the net. about it now. They're finishing. That's the net in for another year. One thing that you see everywhere along the beaches in far north Queensland is vinegar stations with just a regular old bottle of white vinegar inside which is what you use if someone does get stung by a box jellyfish it neutralizes the toxins and also comes in handy when you're on the beach with your fish and chips and you're mixing a bit of vinegar. Hi Joel! 
Good morning, everybody. We're just having our coffee at by far our favorite beach here on the Cairns Northern Beaches. And this yeah. is our beach, Ellis Beach. Now the reason why we love this beach above all of the others is because it's pretty much deserted every time you come here so there's uh, one caravan park here which I have stayed at which is nice and that's about it really there's the bar and grill and the surf life saving club but other than that this is deserted so you get a few people walking along here but most of the time it's pretty empty just the way we like it There is one other van here parked up near us and one other car, but for the most part, it's just us here. We're gonna spend some time here this morning really enjoying this beautiful beach. And from here, of course, we do get beautiful views out over Double Island, looking at the other side of the island. Sun's just come up, it's a great place for the sunrise also. For watching this episode we hope you've enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up and drop a comment down below we hope you'll subscribe and join us for our van life journey around australia see you next time